Hello everybody, I'm John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Monday, everyone. And what a Monday. You're going to see some amazing things today, like this mini bike cologne bottle from Avon from the 1970s. Look at that bad boy. Chopper handlebars. Why would why would I pay three dollars for this well we'll get into that uh today's the day of course it's our free vintage giveaway we find out who wins the moon landing dish yep the commemorative moon landing dish and we learn through as always the mid mod money prize wheel 51 people are involved in the free vintage giveaway for subscribing and commenting so let's get to why we're talking about Avon collectibles today. I know. It's uh, it's a bizarre realm of collectibles. You can't go to a, a flea market, a garage sale, a thrift store without seeing some Avon. And uh, are they worth anything? Well, it varies. But uh, the short answer is uh, no. They're not worth very much money. But people, some people, like this weirdo, uh, this is the first Avon thing I ever bought. And the reason I bought it is because I just liked the way it looked. I thought it was a weird cologne bottle. As you can see, this metal hammer is attached. And uh, it looks like an anvil with a hammer. And I paid $3 for this at an antique mall in Pittsburgh that's in a house down by the river. I am divorced, and I live in a van down by the river. river. Down by a red, white, and blue thrift store. It's irrelevant. It was 3 bucks. That's my... That's about at the beginning of this what i would be willing to pay for avon it's worth seven to eight dollars that weird cologne bottle now here's two avon things it's not just for men it's not just for men ladies this is a these kitty cat perfume bottles yeah this is a ladies perfume uh with kitty cats and the kitty cat is looking in the can't really see he's looking in there and there's a goldfish in there that he's looking at and this Kitty cats on a ball of twine. These were a buck a piece. I think they have no more value than maybe six or seven dollars. Survey says. Dollars and in a lot of cases, the person that buys these will be a, a cat collector. They don't care that it's Avon. They just want for the kitty cats. Sometimes you just, they'll just give it to you. The price point is too much. 50 cents for this cool dune buggy with the little engine on the back that you unscrew and out comes the cologne. 50 cents. It's worth about $5. What is this? Uh, this is liquid hair lotion. Are you kidding me? They were selling everything back then. But as far as their value, not that much. Uh, the next thing I found, I found this for a dollar at Christian Crossing Thrift Store. How cool is that? As Ice Cube said in the movie uh, Boys in the Hood, Domino, my guy, a um, dollar for the Domino, cool Domino. It's not Mark Davon, but I know it's Avon because I looked it up. It's worth six or seven bucks. Uh, this next thing I found, look at these, Avon mugs with pheasants on them. On the bottom, it says Avon, 1982, with these pheasants. A pair of Avon mugs. They're not even going to sell because they're Avon. They're going to sell because someone who likes the outdoors will want these. They're worth about $12. I paid 50 cents each. Not a bad little markup, but you're not going to get rich buying and selling Avon stuff. It's just not going to happen. Even in the best case scenario. This Coleman Avon, like, aftershave. Uh, you might sell this to a Coleman collector. You might sell it to an outdoorsy type. But even something cool and somewhat hard to find, 10 bucks. That's all you're going to get. Now, I'll pay. I my, my sweet spot for Avon stuff is between $1 and $3. I bought this Polar Bear Avon aftershave bottle for 2 bucks. And look at this guy, this polar bear. He is a regal-looking fellow. I bought it because I like the blue color. 
I like the silver polar bear. I just, you know, I started buying this stuff out of like, oh, if you're just going to give it to me for a buck, uh, yeah, a couple bucks, yeah, I'll buy some Avon. I'm not, I'm not above it. Next thing I found, and I, I paid a buck for this at a flea market, nuts and bolts cologne. Now, I don't even think this is Avon. I just, I just think it's a, it's Avon adjacent. So I thought I'd throw it in here because even like best case scenario, cool orange Avon thing, six, seven dollars, ten bucks tops is what it's going to top out at. Now, this is one that I thought, hey, maybe this breaks the mold. This is, this is too cool. This is celebrates my Norwegian heritage, this uh, cool Viking ship. Now, the reason I thought it might be worth a little money is because these delicate little plastic horns are still intact. But even the Avon, whoop, whoa, turn this around. Even the bottom sticker is still on there. This Avon bottle, aftershave bottle, is worth 10 bucks. Unfortunately, even a cool color with a cool Viking theme, 10 bucks is what you're looking at. Now, here's something I found. This is for my Minnesota friends. I found a snowmobile Avon bottle for 79 cents. Are you kidding me? That's the sweet spot. If you're just going to, yeah, I think I have 79 cents. I will add to my ridiculous Avon collection these cologne bottles of various sports. Here's another one. You've got the You've got the golf cart. My Avon collectibles uh, skew slightly towards the the guy stuff, but this uh, cool Avon bottle was a buck, and even though it's still got all the little golf clubs and everything in there, 10 bucks tops. That's what you're looking at. And here's like gas pump. A lot of people collect gas pumps. A lot of people uh, would be interested in this, not because it's Avon. I paid two bucks for this. It's worth $10. Sometimes they get a little bit more expensive, and usually it's because it's a tie-in with a sports thing, like the Steelers uh, cologne bottle. Definitely late 70s. You can tell by the cool two-bar uh, face mask there uh, of the Steelers logo, and this is called Wild Country Aftershave. I love it. 70s were wild. Wild Country Aftershave. And I paid two bucks for this at the Habitat for Humanity home store here in Oakland. Habitat, what a great thrift store that is. Two bucks, it's worth twelve to fifteen dollars. And not 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 because of the Avon, not because of the Avon, but because of the Steeler affiliation. Now we're down to our last two things, and we're really talking about like what's the best thing you can find in an Avon collectible. Well. Still in the box, I think, is key. Like, if you're really going to talk about this having any kind of real value, still in the box. Like, I found this totem pole for $1. Still in the box. And to me, like, you know, this is like the, this is like the Mickey Mantle rookie card of Avon collectibles. Still in the box. Cool 70s uh, totem pole. All the paint still on there. Look at that. Again beautiful uh eagle there at the top very cool still has all the stuff in it whatever this cologne is and i paid a buck for it i mean even this but now you might go to a garage sale and someone might have 15 bucks on that because they think it's old it's in the box it has to be worth you know and that is the reality the top end of this is about a 15 dollar. you couldn't expect to get any more and you know if you don't want to pay whatever the price is, wait a, a while because these were so mass produced that you are going to find another one of these if you happen to like really want them. That is the good part about Avon collectibles is they're cheap. And this might be the best example of that. This Snoopy dressed as the Red Baron mug, milk glass. The reason I bought it is I deal with milk glass. It's Avon from 1969. And I paid $5 for it. It's 55 years old. And you can get it for $5. That's amazing. So it does sadly show you that this mass-produced Avon stuff isn't worth a whole lot. It's kind of neat if you can get it for cheap. Like I spent $27 on this whole... $27 on everything I just showed you. 
And when it's all said and done, when I sell it, eventually, it will be worth about 170 bucks off $27. So, very unique, very cool, 1969, not worth that much money. So, uh, yeah, buy some Avon if you, if you want to, but you ain't going to get rich doing it. Are you there we go. Your winner is Gina Yarber, 4482. You are the winner of the Moon Landing Dish, courtesy MidMod Money. You got to email me, midmodmoney at gmail.com. Thanks for playing, everyone. Thanks for watching. You guys have been great. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to always round up.